Hi guys, so this is the first video in a new how-to series that we are working on. We're going to initially focus on how-to guides for using Steam as your gaming platform. It's really about helping uh, you guys work with Steam from the very basics right up to some of the more advanced stuff. So in this video I wanted to show you how to fix the FPS counter that's available in Steam but it may not be showing when you are in game. This was an issue for me and I figured out that actually it was all to do with playing games within Steam using a controller. So if you have had problems with displaying the FPS in Steam and you use a controller then this should fix the, the problem. So let's start off by enabling the FPS counter within Steam and I will show you the particular issue that I had. So head to Steam settings, go across to in-game and here's where you're going to select your FPS counter. You can put the counter in any of those four positions. I quite like it in the top left. And I also like the high contrast color so it really stands out. Select OK. So these are the default settings. And as you'll see, when we launch the game, and bear in mind I have got the controller switched on, you will see that actually the FPS counter still does not work. Back into the Steam settings and we're going to try and fix that problem now and again within the in-game settings it's this tip box here that is causing the issue so use the big picture overlay when using the steam input enable control from the desktop if you have that enabled FPS counter does not work so if we untick click OK we'll fire up a game and as you can see the FPS counter is now displaying where it should be Unfortunately, the FPS counter overlay does not work in big picture mode. Whether or not Valve fix this in the future, I don't know. But for now, you can't do it within Steam. There are other programs that you can do it. And maybe we'll run a tutorial to show you which ones are available. So guys, hopefully that video helped. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell notification as always to make sure you get the latest videos in your inbox. If there are any particular issues or maybe some tutorials that you think you may need on Steam, then please leave some comments below and we'll see what we can do to help you get through them. Thanks again as always and we'll see you in the next video.